It's Wednesday! last Wednesday in May, which means it is Book Recommendation Wednesday, and uh, the, um, I have no idea where my books are. I think they're in my car, but they could be in my room, or they could be in my dorm room, because I have no idea where I put them. Um, but if I did know, I would show you the book. Uh, I'm recommending Kurt Vonnegut's Slaughterhouse-Five, um, because it's awesome, and um, it's funny and serious, and it's my favorite of the Kurt Vonnegut books I've read, I think. I've read three or four of them. Um, and it's about World War II and stuff that happened to Kurt Vonnegut as well as stuff he probably made up. But it's really good, and I think you guys should all read it. I was thinking about something today at work while I was trying to figure out what book I wanted to recommend for you guys, and um, this is weird, and I just want to know what you guys think about it. What if, like, we each picked a book and then over the course of like a month or whatever we read the same book at the same time and then discussed them in a video like a book club thing or a part of a video for a week. We all discussed what we liked and didn't like and talk about it. Um, I think that would be cool. Um, but then again, I'm also a huge dork so um, let me know what you guys think about that or a situation similar to that. Just let me know. Um, comments in another video. Whatever. I think it would be cool. It would expand our reading horizons. I normally tend to read like the same kind of book. And I think it would be cool to read something that's different. Especially something that one of my friends recommended. Um, so let me know what you guys think about that idea. Incredibly unexciting news. Friday is my six year market basket anniversary. I will have been working at the grocery store for six years, which is a very long time, and makes one of the assistant managers that I work with, the full-timer, feel really, really old. So that makes me happy, because I feel old knowing I've worked there for six years, but she feels old thinking that she's known me since I was 16. So yeah, life, jobs, jobs that suck. Um. Speaking of Market Basket, the last two days that I've worked there, the express lane has been closed because it's broken, and there's like a giant sign and there's stuff in front of the register, like a giant wall of cookies, and people still go around the thing of cookies and put stuff on the register, and people try to steal cigarettes because people are lame. So cashiers near there and baggers have to be like, whoa, don't see this wall of cookies? That means don't go over there. People these days. It's ridiculous. And hopefully they fix that register so people can stop being dumb. I think this only really has any interest to Brittany, but I know Jen follows him on Twitter. My English teacher from high school, um, his name is John Herman, you can find him on Twitter, and I think he's on the tubes as well. Um, is part of the Ford Fiesta movement, and he was on the news today, so I'm going to link in the sidebar to that article and video um, in case you want to read it and learn about the Ford Fiesta movement and stuff. I thought it was pretty cool. I came home from work today and my dad's like, what was your English teacher's name? And then I told him, he was like, he was on the news! I was like, dad, you've met him before, you know what he looks like, you could, didn't have to ask me what his name was. Yeah, so I thought that was pretty cool that he was on the, on the news. I don't know if he talked to you, who we talked to, but I really hope it was Josh Davis, and I really hope it replays tonight at 11, because it would be the coolest day ever if Mr. Herman talked to Josh Davis. So that's pretty much what I have for time today. Um, I will see you guys next Wednesday, and Jahira, I really hope you feel better, and I really hope we get to see your face tomorrow.